What's up guys, this is Kevin with Scar Audio. We're here at the Scar Audio headquarters. We've got our brand new Steve Mead Designs, Tony Diamore Designs, Amp Dino, the 81. We're, uh, I believe, the only other ones in the country besides Steve and Tony who has one of these. Uh, they hand built this for us. Serial number is actually pretty cool. It reads 002 when it turns on. Anyway, we're here today, like I said, at Scar Audio doing a amp dyno of the Scar Audio SK3500.1. This is the first video we're making. We're going to do this for all our amplifiers. And, uh, you know, we're still getting familiarized with the unit itself, but it's, you know, really cool. It measures in certified mode, uncertified mode, and dynamic power run, which you can see here. Um, we're going to go through each one of these with this amplifier. Today, we're going to do the dynamic power run which basically measures what the amplifier will put out at burst power up to distortion. And you can select any impedance level using this machine, which is really neat. And today we're gonna to use the one ohm load, two ohm load, and four ohm loads. We're gonna do all three tests, we're gonna record the results on paper, and we're gonna see what this amplifier puts out compared to rated power up to distortion. So, you know, a lot of you guys have been watching Steve's videos doing these. Um, you know, hopefully we can offer some insight onto what our amplifiers put out compared to others on the market that he's done. So the first one we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do the power at 1 ohm. Again, we're not at the full, when you're, you know, a lot of ratings you're looking at, you're going to see 14.4 volts. Right now you can, or not right now, but in, in a couple seconds you'll be able to see that we're only at about 13 and a half volts. We're running off my car's electrical system, which is uh, just some Shuriken upgraded car audio batteries. Powering 3500.1. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready here if you want to follow the screen. You can see we're going to scroll down here to dynamic power run. We're going to click enter. We're going to click mono. It's asking us for the jumpers, which we've already got installed over here. We're going to click next. Select load impedance. So, like I said, oh, sorry about that. Let's go. Mono. Next. Okay. So we're going to be doing a test for 4 ohms, 2 ohms, and 1, one ohm. We're going to start with 1 ohm, so we're going to go over, scroll over. Okay, now we're going to click enter. And now that we've got everything set up, we're ready to start, as you can see, our first test. So I'm going to go ahead and unpause the track here. We've got a plane. It's measuring burst power up to distortion right now. So this is this is clean power on the dynamic run up to distortion at one ohm. At 13.4 volts, it looks like we're getting 3,594 watts. So we're getting more than rated power out of this amplifier right now at less than the 14.4 volts these are rated at. Super impressive rating. We're going to write that number down. 3,594 watts at 13.4 volts. You see. So now we're ready to go ahead and reset this. Go back. We're going to do this now on the 2 ohm load. Hit enter. So now we're ready to start. We're going to start the 2 ohm load. Hit start. test is running now as you can see some of the lights are flashing so it looks like now dynamic burst power is 2120 watts at 13.45 volts at 2 ohms again more than rated power up to distortion so we're going to record this number 2120 at 13.45 volts Now we're ready to begin our last test here. So once again, we're going to go back. We're going to select our load impedance of 4 ohms. We go ahead and click enter. And again, we're ready to begin. So what we're going to do is unpause the track and click start. So now it's running the test. And as you can see there, it looks like we've got 1,163 watts at 4 ohms at 13.47 volts. Once again, as the other two tests, more than rated power on less than 14.4 volts. So let's go ahead and record that number, 1,163 watts. 
13.47. Okay, so now as you guys can see, we've got the, uh, the dyno, which is going through dynamic power runs at both 1 ohms, 2 ohms, 4 ohms. We did a test earlier with very similar results as you guys can see above, which are not in this video. It's July 23rd, 2013. This is the Steve Mead Amplifier Dyno 81, which is hooked up to the Star Audio SK3500.1. Very consistent ratings all around on this dynamic power run. Dynamic power run for the final time is burst power up to distortion. Appreciate you guys watching this video. We're gonna go ahead and do the certified runs and the, uh, the uncertified runs next. So go ahead and stay, stay tuned. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on the SK3500.1, which as you can see is an underrated, very powerful class D monoblock. Visit our website, which is www.scaraudio.com.